Hello everybody and welcome to the Budweiser shootout here at Daytona as we're getting prepared to go green flag racing here for the first time in season one of the NASCAR Walmart Cup Series. Hi, I'm Levi McIntyre, better known as Thrash Maniac 99 and I just want to say thank you all so much for signing up, all the drivers here, thank you for signing up for my first season of NASCAR Walmart Cup Series, I really appreciate it. And I promise you, this season is just going to be the beginning of many seasons to come for Walmart Cup Series. So as you can tell, this is the Budweiser Shootout. This is non-points racing. This is just for fun to get drivers familiar with this racetrack so that way they can be prepared for the season opening race, the Daytona 500, which will come after this race. But we are going to go through the starting lineup right now. On the pole <clears throat> is going to be the 48 of Austin LaPlante. Second is the 88, his teammate from Hendrick Motorsports, Cole Daly. Third is going to be the 39 of Cody Lamas. Fourth is the 24 of Chris Washer. Rounding out the top five is going to be the 14 of Henry Nova. Sixth is the 18 of Charlie Rodriguez. Seventh, the 56 of Noah Hart. Eighth is his teammate, Eric Burden, of 55. Ninth, the one of Trent Dunham, and next to him is his teammate rounding out the top ten, the 42 of Matt McIntyre. Eleventh is Charles Jackson in the 16. Twelfth, the five of Austin Weiner. Thirteenth, the two of Dylan Young. Fourteenth, the 29 of Danny Wells. Fifteenth, rounding out the top 15 is Mr. NNSCRA himself, the 47 of Seth Cole. <coughs> Excuse me. 16th is the 99 of Cody Hagen. 17th, the 31 of Dylan Poteet. 18th, the 11 of Jessica Shelton. 19th is the 27 of Kyle Matthews. And rounding out the top 20 is going to be the 15 of Barney Taylor. 21st is the 38 of Nathan Hudson. 22nd is the 22 of, of uh, Ian Sagell. I probably destroyed that name, but... uh. <coughs> Maybe somebody can correct me. Um, 23rd is the 13 of Dylan Thero. 24 is the 6 of David Rivera. 25th is the 78 of Joshua Michaels. 26 is the 30 of Carlos Rodriguez. 27th is the 1 of Christopher Oliver. 28th is the 20 of Nick Smith. 29th, the 10 of Cameron Bailey. And rounding out the top 30 is going to be the 43 of Henrietta Fitzwater. 31st is the 17 of Sonny Hammond, 32nd the 83 of Jordan Culp, 33rd is going to be the 33 of Tommy Mooney, 34th is the 51 of Ibrahim Ibrahim, 35th is the 36 of Daniel Day, 36th is going to be the 34 of Chris Dollerton, 37th is going to be the 93 of Chris Nelson, 38th is going to be the 77 of Henry Nova, 39th is the 7 of Chris Michaels, and rounding out the top 4 is the 9 of Zachary Fitzwater. And then the final row in 41st is the 3 of Chris Nor uh, or not Chris Norman, Michael Norman. And then starting dead last in 42nd is the 8 of Rue McIntyre. <clears throat> so that's a look at your starting lineup. We are going to go green flag racing. Some drivers you should keep an eye out for are pretty much the guys who are up in the top four. Austin LaPlante, Cole Daly, Cody Lamas, and Chris Washer. As well as Ian Dutta, Charlie Rodriguez, Noah Hart, Eric Burton. Because there are a lot of veterans in the NR2003 community, but there's a lot of rookies in here too. Like David Rivera, Austin Weiner, Chris Michaels, and Christopher Oliver. And hell, even Matt McIntyre up there in the 10th position. So we got a great mix of veterans and rookies. But we are going to go green flag racing, and this is going to be one for the ages for non-points racing. As Austin LaPlante is going to bring us down to the green flag. As ladies and gentlemen, boogity, 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 let's go racing, boys and girls. And Austin LaPlante didn't get a very good jump on that restart as Cole Daly beat him to the finish line. The start-finish line. Now he's going to pull up in front of Austin LaPlante. And as Chris Washer has got Carl Charlie Rodriguez pushing him from behind. 
And Cole Dowley's got a little bit of a gap, but that's not a good thing because in Daytona and Talladega and hell even Coca-Cola Speedway and Zen Joltis, if you got a big gap as a leader, you're pretty much screwed because you're a sudden duck. As they're three wide for third place, I believe. As Ian Dutta and Cody Lamas and Chris Washer, and there's Eric Bird and Austin Weiner coming into the picture. Man, there are three wide about, I could see about maybe four, Four, maybe five rows back from the th first three cars as Cold Alley is going to lead the first lap. And now here comes Austin LaPlante down to the inside as he's got Ian Dutta pushing him. And Cold Alley's got no drafting help. The closest one to him is Noah Hart in the middle line behind. And Eric Burden, his teammates, pushing him. So that's good to work. Oh, and Austin LaPlante's going to help out Cold Alley by getting in front of him. But I don't know if that's going to work because here comes Ian Dutta with Trent Dunham pushing him as they're three wide for third again because here comes Charles Jackson as well as Dylan Young, Austin Weiner, Seth Cole. And I believe Dylan Poteet, Kyle Matthews is coming up into the fray. Oh, and oh, we had contact. Oh, and we got a crash. Oh, I hit the wrong camera. I was trying to go back here. Oh, and they're still wrecking. Oh, Nick Smith gets collected by Barney Taylor. Oh, we got car upside down. That's Jessica Shelton. Man, oh, man. And Chris Washer came back. Oh, and Henrietta Fitzwater got hit again. I can't tell who that is. I believe that was Jordan Cole because I couldn't tell because of the dirt cloud. But man, oh, man. And David Rivera got a piece of that as well, as too did Christopher Oliver. Barney Taylor and Matt McIntyre got a little piece of that. There you see Christopher Oliver, Nick Smith, Dave Rivera, and I don't know if Michael Norman was involved. Cody Lamas was involved. Dylan Thero got a little piece of it. Chris Washer did. Yeah, and Michael Norman. Oh, wait a minute. They're still crashing up ahead. Nick Smith crashed again. Joshua Michaels was involved. What is going on here? I saw Sonny Hammond got a piece of it. I believe the rest of these guys are fine. But, man. That was just wicked. And now we're going to see some pit stops. Dylan Young, Trent Dunham, Austin Weiner, Seth Cole, Eric Burden, Kyle Matthews, and Cody Hagen are all coming down the pit road. This should be interesting. We should go to our pit lane camera so we can see I know we're probably gonna have some guys retiring from the race after that crash but man that was just a damn shame and we were going good for just so for just a little bit and then we had a big crash like that oh and Austin oh and Chris Washer and Trent Dunham got together on pit road as Chris Washer is retired from the race Let's keep an eye out for Cody Lamas. I believe Cody Lamas might be able to continue because he's not teleported out. Dave Rivera is going to continue, so will Daniel Day, who we know had some pretty significant front end damage. Rue McIntyre had a piece, got a piece of that action, and he's going to be able to continue. And Cody Lamas is up and away. But let's take a look. We're going to take a break and we're going to go to a replay to take a look at what exactly brought out the caution as I saw Michael Norman just retired. Well, here's what happened. It's going to start between the 11 of Jessica Sheldon and the 99 of Cody Hagen. They get together and they come down into the 22 of Ian Sigel and Cody Lamas got nailed. And there went Barney Taylor and all them. But we need to keep an eye on Jessica Sheldon to see how she flips. She got pounded around for a little bit. Oh, she got hit in the driver's side door by the 21 of Chris Oliver. And she is flipping. And she went over to 33 of Tommy Mooney. As Jessica Sheldon just went barreling side over side, end over end. And I believe her car is going to come to rest on the roof. But man, that was a tough, tough break for Jessica Sheldon. We need to take a look at that again. That was a wicked, wicked ride. I believe we're actually going to go on board with the 11 car. As I can go to the roof cam. But here's where the crash started.
and we lost a camera right there. But uh, now we're going to take a look at the 15 of Barney Taylor, who started another crash that happened a little bit up ahead of the Jessica Sheldon incident. So we gotta rewind back and take a look. He was right behind Jessica Sheldon when the crash started. Oh, that was when Cody Lamas came down in front of Chris Washer and Jessica Sheldon, and then he just got caught right next to Cody Lamas. I don't know if he comes back. Well, Cody Lamas got up and got Danny Wells, but not enough to cause significant damage. Oh, he came up right in front of Sonny Hammond and the Nick Smith, and they just went up into the outside retaining wall. And there you see back there the 11 just flipping back there. Now this was a whole separate crash that could have been avoided if the 15 didn't come back up across the racetrack right in front of the 17. And this Chris Washer got another piece of that. And look at Jordan Colt. Right there, a big hit to Henrietta Fitzwater in the 43. But uh, we need to go to uh, the 20 of Nick Smith because I believe he started another crash. In the back straightaway, I, I believe. I'm not sure we're going to find out. We're going to go to slow motion here. Oh, it looked like uh, Nathan Hudson, Sonny Hammond, and Joshua Michaels just slowed up on the track. And Nick Smith just ran right into the back of Joshua Michaels. I don't know what that was all about, but that was a third separate crash on this lap. I mean, talk about a... Weird situation happening. Nick Smith just runs right into the back of Joshua Michaels. I can tell those two aren't going to have some nice words for each other. But that was a look at what happened. We're going to go back and take you to the restart momentarily. Well, anyways, we're going to go green flag racing the next time by. And we're going to go through the, the field that is left on the track after that huge three separate crash incident we had on lap two heading into lap three so we're gonna go through a run th run down through the field as we see the leader is the 14 of ian dutta and then second is the 16 of charles jackson third is austin laplante fourth noah hart and fifth is dylan poteet and then it's cole dally ian sagel david or not david danny wells Dylan Thero, and rounding out the top 10 is Cameron Bailey. And then we have Chris Dollerton, Seth Cole, Trent Dunham, Cody Hagen, and Kyle Matthews rounding out the top 15. And then we have Eric Burden, Dylan Young, Austin Weiner, Charlie Rodriguez, and Carlos Rodriguez rounding out the top 20. And then the cars who are left on the track after that crash, we have David Rivera, Daniel Day, Ibrahim Ibrahim, Chris Michaels, Rue McIntyre, Sonny Hammond, Nathan Hudson, Zachary Fitzwater, Barney Taylor, who somehow is continuing, Cody Lamas, and Michael Norman rounds out the top 31. Now we're going to take a look at the drivers who are out as listed. Chris Washer, Matt McIntyre, Jessica Sheldon, Nick Smith, Joshua Michaels, Henrietta Fitzwater, Chris Nelson, Tommy Mooney, Chris Oliver, Jordan Culp, and Henry Nova. But we are going to go green flag racing this time here on lap 7. So that will leave us with 14 laps to go in the Bud Shootout. And here we go. I apologize for the background noise. But uh, as we see, Charles Jackson's peeking out to the high line. And Ian Dutta sticking down, below, down low. And he's got a little bit of a gap between himself and second place, which isn't good because you're a sitting duck at this point. But here comes Austin LaPlante with Dylan Poteet. Dylan Poteet's going to leave Austin LaPlante hanging. And they're going to go three wide for second, I believe. Yeah, they are three wide for second. Here comes Dylan Poteet with Cole Daly pushing him in that 88 car. Let's see if Ian Dutta can hold off these guys. I believe he is, and he's going to lead this lap. But Dylan Poteet's going to go up high, and Ian Dutt is going to lead that lap. As we see, Cole Dowley's still on the bottom, and he's got Noah Hart pushing him. A little bit of an interesting little uh, alliance there temporarily. 
as we see it's three cars in a freight train up front and now here comes Cole Dowley to the bottom but he doesn't have a drafting partner and he's next to Noah Hart who has Austin LaPlante behind him but Cole Dowley's gonna try to go underneath Ian Dutta for the lead in the close and here comes Danny Wells as they're three wide for third place now we need to keep an eye out on this also, a plant goes down the bottom, and I think Cole Daly, let's see if he can lead it. Yep, he led that lap by about a bumper over Ian Dutta. If that would have been the last lap, that would have been a close finish. This Cole Daly is going to take the lead away, and he's got Danny Wells right behind him. And now Charles Jackson trying to take a peek below, and now here comes Danny Wells in the 29. This is going to be an interesting battle, and now here comes Danny Wells, and he's got Charles, J Charles Jackson behind him. Oh, and the 22 of, e of Ian Sagell scraped the wall. I think he managed to sell it out, so I think he's going to be okay. Yeah, he's right in front of Kyle Matthews, now down to the bottom. And Danny Wells takes the lead, and he's going to lead that lap as we are one lap away from halfway. So far, clean and green after uh, that first massive crash we had as they're three wide I believe for fourth place or they were three wide for fourth but Cole Dowie stuck up on the high line as Charles Jackson is going to try to take the lead and he's going to it's going to be three wide for the lead Danny Wills, Charles Jackson and Cody Hagen and Cody Hagen looks to try to take the lead away from his teammate Charles Jackson as he's got Dylan Young pushing him. We also need to keep an eye out for anybody to come down pit road because we don't know what the fuel window is as we are now halfway through with 10 laps to go. And now here comes Dylan Young to the bottom to try to take the lead from Cody Hagen. He's got Charlie Rodriguez pushing him. And they're three wide. Uh-oh, four wide. That is not going to work. Four wide. Can they... Can go, can, I can't even speak because they're four wide. I'm worried that somebody's going to crash. Uh, they're still four wide. I can't really tell. Let's keep an eye out. Yeah, they are still four wide. Can you guys please settle it out? The f oh, no, they crashed. Oh, and Cameron Bailey flipped. And he somehow landed on his wheels. Cole Daly involved. Austin Weiner, Austin LaPlante, and Danny Wells all got involved. That's three of the Hinder cars right there. Oh, and Cameron Bailey had to teleport to Pitt Road. But, man, I knew that was going to happen. As soon as they went four wide, I knew that was going to happen. As Cole Daly has damage, Danny Wells has some rear end damage, Daniel Day with no hood, Austin LaPlante involved, Austin Weiner, he looks to probably continue. He's got some side damage, but I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye out on these guys. It's Cameron Bailey on pit road after he flipped. And everybody else and I don't know what in the world David Rivera's doing. He's pushing up up against the pace car. I guess these guys must have came out of pit road and were somehow still up front of the head of the leaders. I don't know, but it's going to be interesting to see. As I believe Charlie Rodriguez is going to have the lead. But we're going to, in the meantime, we're going to take a break and we're going to look at a replay to see what caused this second caution. All right, well, here's what happened. They were four wide between Cameron Bailey, Cole Daly, Austin Weiner, and Austin LaPlan. Cameron just came up right in front of Cole Daly and he flipped over. And he somehow landed on his wheels after taking one barrel roll up the banking. So... Luckily, we only got away, I believe, with about five to six maybe seven cars not nearly as big as it was that first time we had a big one but that's a damn shame that some of those guys had to get involved in that and all because they had to go four wide usually when you go four wide Daytona you know something like this is going to happen it's not like how Talladega when you can go four wide and keep it together and we're actually going to go on board with the 10 of Cameron Bailey to get his perspective of this crash. So this is going to be a wild ride.
There it was. What more proof do you need? And as you can tell, he got stuck up there. I think he might be able to continue. I don't know, but I guess he got stuck on the surface of the track between the track and the apron where he couldn't move. So uh, he had to teleport to pit road. But uh, let's check and see if he is going to retire or not. Just need to keep an eye out on the 10 to make sure he doesn't retire. He's still sitting on pit road. So I believe he might be able to continue. I'm not sure. We'll have to go back to the restart and find out. Which, by the way, we are going to go take you to the restart momentarily. Well, we are back and I guess we see some pit strategy going down as three cars decide to stay out. Because during that break we saw pit stops go down and three cars stayed out on the racetrack. But the new leader is going to be the 51 of Ibrahim Ibrahim. Second is Rue McIntyre with no hood. Or no, wait a minute. I believe he's a lap down. So I don't know why he's up here. But second is going to be Carlos Rodriguez. Third is going to be Charlie Rodriguez. Then it's Eric Burton and Dylan Young rounding out the top five. Uh, oh, I hit the wrong button. Chris, Chris Dollerton in 6th, uh, Ian Sigel in 7th, uh, Zachary Fitzwater 8th, Ian Dudd in ninth, and rounding out the top 10 is Trent Dunham. Then it's Dylan Thero, Dylan Poteet, Sonny Hammond, Chris Michaels, Daniel Day, David Rivera with no hood, Bar uh, Barney Taylor, Cody Lamas, Austin Weiner, and Noah Hart as the top 20. Then it's Kyle Matthews, Danny Wells, Nathan Hudson, Seth Cole, Cole Daly, Michael Norman, Cody Hagen, and Charles Jackson that is left on the track. Cars who are out. Uh, Cameron Bailey, I guess he officially retired from the race. I don't think I see Austin LaPlante anywhere. Let me look back and make sure. No, he's not on track, so also the plan has officially retired. But now we are coming to five laps to go as Ibrahim Ibrahim in the 51 is going to be the leader. Green flag is back out. And Carlos Rodriguez is going to go up high. I don't know. Rue McIntyre may not be up to speed, so he might hold back some of these guys. I don't think he's up to speed. He's holding back that bottom line with Charlie Rodriguez and Eric Burden behind him, so it's just going to be a battle between... Ibrahim and Carlos Rodriguez. We'll see what can happen. But Charlie Rodriguez and all of them desperately need Rue McIntyre to get out of the way. And he finally does. Good move on Rue McIntyre's part. As Carlos Rodriguez is going to go to the lead, hopefully. And he will. And here comes Ian Sagell in the 22. He's going to... Man, he went up really high up above the track. Oh, and Ibrahim Ibrahim's going down pit road. So is Sonny Hammond. Their pit strategy is not going to work. So they just cost themselves the race. So Carlos Rodriguez is going to be the leader with Ian Sagell in second. And Charlie Rodriguez, Carlos's brother, in third. <laughs> but man, tough break for the 51 and the 17. Oh, and there's the 14 of Ian Dutta. He's stuck right there on the infield. I don't know if he has a mechanical problem or he's out of fuel. I don't know what happened. But here comes Ian Sagell and Charlie Rodriguez and Dylan Young. Could they be potential factors in the final laps of the race as we get to the start-finish line? It'll be three to go in the Budweiser shootout. But Carlos Rodriguez is holding them all off very well. As we are now at three laps to go. There's Dylan Poteet, Zachary Fitzwater, and Dylan Thero right behind uh, behind this lead pack. And Eric Burton somehow caught up to the lead pack, and he might be a factor in this. It's a four-car freight train on the bottom lane. And, oh, a little bit of contact between teammates. And Ian Dutta, I don't know what in the world is going on with Ian Dutta. He's sideways, stuck on the track. If they throw a caution out for that then it's going to be the end of the race because there ain't no way we're going to be able to get back green flag racing with just 
two to go as they come through. As Carlos Rodriguez still holds the lead off from Dylan Young. And the caution is out. Race is going to be over. The caution is out. I believe it was for Ian Dutta. Let me check on the 14. Yeah, he had to teleport to Pit Road. I believe he must have had a mechanical problem or he ran out of fuel and he couldn't get to Pit Road. But nonetheless, that's going to be a caution and we're at two to go. So we are, we are not going to be able to go back to green flag racing. So Carlos Rodriguez is going to take the win here at the Budweiser shootout. Wow. We'll go through the rest of the field once they finish, but man, I was hoping we could have finished this race with green flag, but I'm not really sure what happened to the 14 of Ian Dutta. But like I said, nonetheless, this is the end of the race because we, are, we won't be able to get back green flag race, and as the next time by, it's, they're going to take the white flag. But... Carlos Rodriguez has won this race. I'd say whenever they cross the start-finish line to take the white flag, we'll go through a run-through of everybody that's left on the track so we can give you a full rundown finishing results. But what a great job by Carlos Rodriguez managing to hold off everybody on that last restart and manage to keep the lead. Great job for the 30 car for Swan Racing. Okay, we're going to take a look at the official finishing results as of this moment. Carlos Rodriguez is going to take the win. Dylan Young in the two. Great run for that veteran of this community. And then we've got Eric Burden in the 55 who finished third. Charlie Rodriguez fourth and Ian Sagel rounds out the top five. Then it's Dylan Poteet sixth. Zachary Fitzwater 7th, Dylan Thero 8th, Chris Dollarton 9th, and Trent Dunham rounds out the top 10. And then it's Noah Hart 11th, Kyle Matthews 12th, Cody Lamas somehow with a damaged race car managed to get up there and finish 13th. 14th is going to be Chris Michaels, 15th rounding out the top 15 is Cody Hagen, and then it's Charles Jackson, Seth Cole, Nathan Hudson, Barney Taylor, and Daniel Day as the top 20. And then 21st is going to be Austin Weiner. And then Danny Wells, David Rivera, Cole Daly, Sonny Hammond, Ibrahim Ibrahim, and a car who fell way off the pace that last run, the three of Michael Norman, is going to get 27th. And then the first car lap down was the eight of Rue McIntyre. He's going to get 28th. And then the rest of the cars were out of the race, and that was Ian Dutta, which I'm still trying to figure out why he was out. I'm not sure if his motor blew or he ran out of fuel and he couldn't continue. But before I continue, they are getting ready to take the checkered flag, so it will be official. Carlos Rodriguez is going to win the Budweiser shootout. But third, but 30th is going to be Austin LaPlante. And then it's Cameron Bailey, Chris Washer, Matt McIntyre, Jessica Sheldon, Nick Smith, Joshua Michaels, Henrietta Fitzwater, Chris Nelson, Tommy Mooney, Chris Oliver, Jordan Culp, and Henry Nova to round out the field. But uh, thank you guys very much for checking out the Budweiser Shootout. This is just a warm-up for the next race, which is the Daytona 500, which will be coming pretty soon after this race. So... Thank you guys for checking out Budweiser Shootout, and hopefully you enjoyed it. But just remember, there are more races to come. But anyways, see you later, people.